Hi there, I'm Stacy Reed, and in today's Butterscotch episode, we're going to show you how to explore Microsoft Bing. Let's say I want to do a search for images, and let's say we want to search for images of festivals. We'll type the word in the search field, and you can see that as I type, Bing suggests a list of searches we may also be interested in. Also notice how relevant the returned images are to our search. Scrolling down very quickly, I can tell a lot about festivals just from this visual search that Bing provides. For instance, festivals are happening all over the world, and they are usually very bright and colorful, and they're celebrations where many people gather together. Now, if you hover over, it zooms in a bit, and you can find out more information about that image. Clicking on the image intuitively opens the page where that image can be found, and a link to see the full-size image as well. You can change the size of the thumbnails that are returned up here on the right. Now let's go back to the front page and I'll show you how to do video searches because that's fun too. It also returns visually stimulating results. Hovering over the video will play the video automatically. Some are just clips and some will play through to its entirety. If you plan to do many searches in succession, you may consider the side panel present here on the left to be of benefit. Some people might prefer to go directly to the source, in which case you can do so by clicking the link. There are a few different channels and a lot of different genres that you can choose from. So that's how you search for images and videos using Microsoft's Bing. This is Stacy Reed for Butterscotch signing out. Bye for now.